What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we're doing three at once. We're doing all or nothing, stack the chips, and jackpot. So all or nothing is play all the cards in your deck at least once in a single blitz match. Stack the chips is gather 150 energy crates over any number of blitz matches. And jackpot is play 777 total blitz cards over any number of matches. So for jackpot, you could actually go to your service record and you could see right here how many blitz cards you've played over your entire uh, career here, which is very useful for seeing how many more you have to go. So you can see I've gotten well over 777, so the achievement has popped for me. So all you really need to do here is go into blitz games and just play as usual, or you could just spam a bunch of low cost cards if you really want to, to try to speed this up a little bit, but if you just play normally, you should get this fairly quickly. As for stack the chips, gather 150 energy crates over any number of blitz matches. Again, this is over all blitz matches you ever play, so it's a cumulative achievement. You don't have to do this all in one game. That would be ridiculous, and it's probably, well, it's definitely impossible to get 150 crates. But anyway, you can see here I'm in a blitz match, and these supply drops that drop down are the things you need to get. So every so often, you'll see them pop up on your screen and just drive some of your units over, blow them up and collect those energy crates, and you will get your way to 150, and you'll unlock that achievement. So that one is very easy as well. Unfortunately, there's no area on the service record to see how many you have collected over time like there is for the Blitz cards. Seems like that's something they should have thrown in there. But you'll have to just keep working your way towards it without really uh, knowing how close you are. And that brings us to All or Nothing, which is play all the cards in your deck at least once in a single Blitz match. So in Blitz you have 12 unique cards, so you need to play all 12 of those. So this should just come naturally uh, while you play through games normally. But if you're having trouble for whatever reason, you could just make a deck with a ton of really low cost cards. Because the only thing that would really hamper you from being able to play 12 cards is the fact that some of the cards may be a little too high in cost, especially if you have a uh, one of the units like Kinsano Cyclops, which is, I think, off the top of my head, I think it's 240. Uh, so that's a lot to uh, save up. So if it's a quick game, you probably won't be able to uh, play that unit along with all your other units. But for your average game slash your uh, longer game, you should definitely be able to do this. But if you feel it's necessary, go in, edit your deck. Uh, before the game starts and then come in here with a bunch of low cost cards and you can just spam them all right in the beginning. So that's it for this video guys, getting all these fairly easy achievements out of the way before we jump into the legendary guides. But that's it for these, so thank you very much for watching, click like and subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch and Mixer at Silver Scorpion 4 and check out our Halo Conversationalist podcast on iTunes and Google Play and I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.